One way that we can keep track of the different types of energy when we're doing conservation of energy is with pie charts. I call them energy pie charts. And what I had my students do was to look at uh, a video and then draw different pie charts for different parts of this video. And the video was for pole vaulting. And so what they would do is they would use these different terms right here, different abbreviations for the pie chart. Uh, they would watch the video and then as an example, they'd have to draw a pie chart for the type of energy they saw in this part of the picture. And then this part of the picture here when the pole is bent. And they would continue all the way through until finally they got to the last part where this athlete is now falling into the mat. Um, and so what I thought I would do is just show exactly how I showed them how to draw their energy pie charts so that they could complete their assignment using Google Classroom. And everything is electronic and there is uh, no paperwork. It gets submitted directly online. So let's take a look at the video that I showed them on how to make their own energy pie charts. Okay, so let's make an energy pie chart. So you have some document that you wanna make your pie chart on. Pretty simple to do. We'll go to insert, drawing. And here's where we're gonna make our energy pie chart. So we'll choose shape and then how about a circle? And then here we'll just draw the circle. You can make it as big as you want on this part. I don't like that fill color, so I'm gonna click fill and then get rid of it. And what we wanna do now is we wanna add in some text so we can tell what type of energy it is. So in the simplest sense, let's just say we can add a text box by clicking here and drag it. And let's say we've got gravitational potential energy. And we'll highlight it to make it nice and big. More. How about size 24? And center it. And now you can grab it and drag it. Center. Perfect. Save and close. And it comes up right here. This looks kind of big, so we're going to just shrink it down. And that's great. You can use that one. So let's say that we wanted to put in another one. So we'll put one in right over here. And we'll go back, insert, drawing, and we'll kind of repeat the same steps. We'll pick our circle again. Nice big circle. And let's get rid of the fill. And let's say now we need to split it in half. So we can choose a line for this. We'll just pick a line and we can drag it so that we have split it in half. Perfect. There's a line over there. We don't need that one. Uh, so now you can click on the text box. We can drag it over here. Maybe now we've got potential energy, gravitational, highlight, put that one back to 24, make it nice and big. You can center it. You can drag this so it fits. There we go. And now we've got some kinetic energy we'll put on the other side. So we'll pick text box again, and over here, KE, I like that one, 24, center, there we go. Save and close, now we have another one. And we can shrink that down so it fits in, maybe that's a little too big, perfect. So let's add another one to this position, and maybe this time, we want it to have more than two different energies. We'll make the circle again. And get rid of the fill. And we want our lines to be drawn. So we can maybe make a line like this. And then we can make a line from here to here. From here to here. I think you get the idea. So what you can do now is you can just fill in text boxes for each of these. Maybe you've got potential energy, kinetic energy, heat energy, some combination of those. You hit save and close, and of course you can resize it. Your labels will be in there, and you'll be all set.